Now, in the last video that I posted, we're celebrating 15,000 subscribers on the channel, and today I am glad to announce that we are at 16,000 already, just a few days later. I'm very, very thankful, and I'm very, very, um, I feel so much gratitude. So, thank you for subscribing, thank you for commenting, thank you for sharing my videos. Um, if you're new to the channel, you're welcome. My name is Nifon Tui, and on this channel, I make sewing tutorials, I post new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. Now, this video is um, a highly requested video. It's the last piece of the puzzle of that infamous top that I made. Um, so, a, I didn't put out the video on this sleeve earlier on because I didn't film the video at the time when I was recording um, that when I was making that top I just didn't film the sleeve I didn't think it would be something that people want to see because at that point I didn't understand my audience properly but um, a subscriber got uh, reached out to me recently and then asked me told me that she was working on the top step by step using the videos on the channel and that the sleeve was the only part missing and that she couldn't wait and I can obviously cannot sew right now because we should all be in isolation so this video is going to help you guys um, those of you that wanted to know how to cut the sleeve this video will show you how to cut the sleeve uh, thanks for watching I hope you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and also on Saturday please before now till Saturday I think we should do a Q&A &A, question and answer because I really really want to get to know you guys so between today and Saturday I want you guys to get to know me better so between today um, Wednesday and Saturday I want you guys to um, um, comment below your questions that you want to know. Um, that you want to know. It has, doesn't matter whether it's related to sewing, both sewing related, and if you have personal questions that you want to know, um, like what is my full name. Well, anyway, I hope you like the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Have a lovely day. Stay safe. Bye. You're welcome once again. So as you can see, I've already drafted my bodies. If you do not know how to draft the bodies, I have um, videos on this channel where I, uh, I have a video that I posted about how to draft the bodies. One of my, in fact, it's my very first video on this channel. So please check it out so that you learn how to draft a bodice of your own. Okay, as you can see, these are our bodies. It stops at the half cut. This is the underbust round. This is where the underbust round, underbust length stops. Okay, so now before we cut the sleeve, the first thing you're going to do is if you've been a follower, if you've been a subscriber on this channel for some time, especially before this um, whole virus issue, you would know that that when I'm sewing, I sew my lining separate from my fabric before binding both of them together at the end of the day. So that's what you're going to need to do here. Okay, so before we cut this sleeve, I'm going to need to bind my paper at the shoulder, okay, which is what you do when you are sewing, before you can cut the sleeve or before you can stitch the sleeve in, okay, you're going to need to have sewn your shoulder together, okay, so I'm going to just bind my paper together before we start cutting the sleeve, okay, okay, so that has been done. The next thing will be to cut my sleeve okay but before i cut my sleeve the reason why i had to bind the paper together is because you will need to measure to know how long the sleeve is going to be okay because if you notice the sleeve came from the front okay and then went to the back and that's what we're going to do okay so now in order to be able to do that you're going to need to measure you measure starting from this point okay from the this joining that you have here okay because that's where it's going to stop you're going to start from this joining right here you are going to measure from this point you're going to measure from here okay 14 as you can see and then you're going to come down the back too so we had 14 at that point and then we're going to come down sorry we had 14 here and then we're going to come down this point okay as you can see now we have 28.5 so you're going to jot down that number somewhere okay i'm going to jot down that number 28.5 okay so that we do not forget and then the next step will be to cut uh sleeve so i'm going to show you how to cut how i cut the sleeve now now when it's time to cut the sleeve you would notice that i have folded my fabric as if i'm trying to cut a 360 degree flip okay so what i did was i had a fabric like this i folded it into a rectangle okay then i folded it again okay so that's how we got to this fold okay so once again you have a fabric that is wide and flat okay you can see wide and flat like so you come to the center you fold it like this and then you bend it into half again so with that out of the way i have a video on the channel 
on how to cut 360, 720, and 1440 um, 40 degrees flame. <clears throat> so you should see that, okay? It really help you if you don't know how to cut flames at all. Okay, so when we're trying to cut this sleeve, what you will do is this. Now we measured around and we had approximately 28 inches, okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to divide 28 inches by 4, okay? Because remember, for um, the degrees, um, the 720, um, the 30 degree flate is measured by 4, okay? So um, divided by 4 equals um, 7, okay? So, and then we had 7, okay? Sorry, my camera stopped filming. 7. And we're going to, because of the sleeve that we're trying to draft, we're going to add an next. So, we had 1 inch, um, 7 inches, okay? Now, because of the sleeve we are trying to draft, we're going to add 1 inch to it, okay? Which brought us to the number 8. So you're going to see how I'm going to use 8 to cut the flade now, okay? What you're going to do is this. You're going to simply, from this edge, measure out 8 inches. You're going to make a mark, okay? You're going to make a mark. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come from here to here. We're going to make another mark at 8 inches, okay? We're going to measure from here. We're going to measure from here down, okay? I'm going to measure from here down Oof. and we're going to measure from from here down all right then we're going to make a curve from here to here okay so please try don't just go from here to here you're going to want to follow this line okay when you're like halfway down the line you're going to want to swoop to around halfway around here okay we're going to swoop like so and then hit this line and come out when you're done with that make sure you measure you measure the line you just drew and make sure that you have that 14 inches remember when we went from the front to the back we had 28 okay when we went from the front to the back we had 28 and the 28 was divided into four places 14 for the front approximately 14 for the back okay so that um, you're going to need to make sure that this part here is 14 inches okay and as you can see when I measured from here I measured all the way down you can see here it is at 10 inches okay let me zoom that there. Yes. Uh -huh. And you can see when I take it all the way down, it landed at 14 inches exactly. Okay. So when you've done that now, the next thing you're going to want to do is this is all my this is all my all my paper can give. But if you want, you can make yours to be longer. I'm talking when I when I'm what I'm talking about is the sleeve length. That distance from here to here. You understand that. But if you at the shoulder. The amount you want to protrude at the shoulder, okay? The um, amount, the how much you want, how long you want it to be. So you're going to need to place from here to here, like so, okay? As the video progresses, that will become more clearer. But for our protrusion, the paper can only give me 5.5. .5. Try and make sure that um, when you are placing that on your fabric, you can make it more, you can make it less, depending on how much you want it to protrude. But for now, we're going to use 5.5 .5 at every point, at every point around around this so you see i'm placing 5.5 .5 everywhere okay i'm going to connect here to here i'm going to connect here to here i'm going to connect here to here right and then i'm going to cut it out and explain everything so i'm going to cut it out i'm going to cut here out now, if you notice in the in the picture, right, in the picture, you would see that everywhere was not long like this, it was not long like so. Around the bottom part of the of the of the sleeve, it narrowed, it tapered out. Okay, so you're going to want to do that. Okay, just like when you're cutting a deep hem, you're going to want to progressively reduce it until it becomes nothing. Okay. So that's what you're going to do. Make a mark like so. Taper it out until it becomes nothing. Uh -huh. Okay. So as you can see, now we have two pieces of paper. I'm going to show you everything at this point now. Now you see these bodies that we had. That I assumed you have joined. Remember, you've joined your fabric separately and you've joined your lining separately. This sleeve is going to be added on like so. Okay? So now watch watch what I'm about to do. You're going to flatten your bodies and you're going to stitch this sleeve on. Let me stitch it, let me stitch it on <laughs> with my paper, with my virus time 
machine. So you're going to drag it like that. You're going to keep here like this. Sorry, you're going to keep here like this. You're going to stitch them on, okay? You have to turn it like this and stitch it. And then, you're going to stitch here down, like so. You're going to come to the front. You're going to stitch it on like this. And so, as you can see, we have achieved the sleeve, okay? Look at this, you see this? Nice and easy, that is how you draft the sleeve. Okay? This is slightly not that bad. So, that is how you draft the sleeve that you can see here. So that is it for me today. Have a nice day. Hope you are staying safe. Bye bye. I'll see you on Saturday.